My name is Bernard Ashwanden. At Publishing Smarter, one of the things we do is create videos like this one to help people learn to use their software tools better. This video teaches you to understand the basics of Microsoft Excel. A Microsoft Excel spreadsheet contains columns that run vertically. These are set up with letters across the top, and by clicking inside a column title, you can select it. Highlighted content is pretty easy to differentiate from the rest of the material because of change in the color or shading of the background. The Excel spreadsheet also contains horizontal rows, and these are set up with numbers. Clicking inside the number of one of the horizontal rows selects it. At the intersection of any column and row is a cell. There is an assortment of content that can be entered into a cell. Any cell can contain a range of content. That includes text, numbers, or formulas. Whatever is entered appears as it's instructed on screen, but the formula bar located near the top of the screen always shows the exact source that's been typed in. Right now I only have text, so the same words are reflected up above. Once content's entered into a cell, you can click in the next cell to finalize the entry, or even just press enter. And again, the formula bar up at the top of the screen always shows the current value of the given cell. You can use formulas and calculations in order to do all kinds of mathematical wizardry inside Excel. The formula bar shows us that a formula has been entered that reads equal sum D9 colon D12. On screen, what we see is the number 150. That number is just a calculation adding up the numbers 10, 20, 40, and 80. Once you're done entering a formula, you can press enter or you can even use your four arrow keys in order to navigate. Here I've moved down to the next cell and I'm going to enter in the average of D9 to D12. Another useful formula is equals max D9 to D12, which finds the maximum or the highest number inside the range. In the same way, equals min will find the minimum or the lowest number. You can also run formulas that do more complex work. For example, in the top left of the screen, I have a range that is highlighted in yellow in order to make it stand out. Using a formula to count blanks, I can specify a range of A1 to B4, and it will return the number of cells that don't contain any content. I can also use a formula in order to count all of the populated cells. Next, I'm going to change the value inside D9. Because I have calculations to figure out the sum, average, maximum, and minimum, you'll see automatic changes to these values. This is part of the power of Excel. The moment that I press Enter, I complete the entry inside the cell and all of the calculated values for things like the sum, average, maximum, and minimum are automatically updated. Hopefully this video has been a quick introduction to you and you're familiar now with the idea of columns, rows, the cells at their intersection, the idea that you can enter text or numbers and use calculations in order to do things like add up all of the numbers, find averages, maximums, and minimums.